Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. Want to get you outside at 613 with your West Shore home first alert sky cam from Elizabethtown. Corner Cafe looking across Poplar Street, the courthouse complex and the Christmas tree. It's a good look. Let's see if skies are trying to brighten up. Yeah, on the horizon as we move the camera network to the Mercuston Building View in downtown Wilmington. It is a cold and frosty dawn across the Cape Fear region. 30 degrees officially at Wilmington Airport. A lot of spots in the middle and upper 20s. Airport has a light north breeze. It's enough to drive the windshield down a little deeper into the 20s. So all these metrics inspiring you to layer up. Thankfully, seven miles an hour is one of the highest wind observations that I have seen in the late night slash early morning. Most places are a little closer to zero, so that's a little bit of a silver lining. But with the light winds, uh, I want to reiterate that frost potential, and that includes your windshield with these 20s to around 30 all over the map and in the 7 o'clock hour as well. Temperatures gaining traction to the upper 40s and lower 50s this afternoon with dry skies, nothing on the radar scan, and for local and regional travel. How about this radar view in the eastern U.S.? Far cry from where it was just a couple of days ago. We had a big Sunday storm system. Not to be repeated as we take your forecast rain chance graph out to this Sunday. So some low end chances moving in for the weekend, including Christmas Eve, but doesn't look like a rerun of the last couple of weekends for that matter. And we do have the notation for tomorrow's day slot or bar on the graph. The winter officially arrives with the solstice. It's 1027 PM. The direct rays of the sun incident on the Tropic of Capricorn in the southern hemisphere is why our days have been getting so short. And of course that happening triggers or trips the season of winter in the northern hemisphere. Ironically, a little bit of a warm up, huh? As far as looking at those forecast highs and the lows, we know Santa can handle any kind of freezing cold weather, but a Sunday night he won't have to him and his crew as he comes through. We got some 40s and 50s as opposed to 20s and 30s. We'll hit Christmas in a moment. Let's get you to the beach today. Bright and a little brisk as it is to surf about 59. Upcoming high tides on your screen. Not so apt to uh, sponsor flooding as with that storm or last week with the new moon. And offshore winds and waves a little frisky, but generally below small craft advisory criteria today. OK, let's look out to Christmas this coming Monday and uh, we'll say about it. A couple of shower chances are really slim as we see right now and uh, some extra clouds. And uh, one thing we can say is temperatures much higher than they are this morning and today yeah. collectively. Is so. that a normal? Is that where we should be around <laughs> Christmas time? I, it's, it's hard to tell because yeah. it, it fluctuates so, so much. Many ups and downs. Yeah. yeah, our average high is the upper 50s. So we're going to be underperforming that today. We're going to be overperforming by a little for Christmas. I am not complaining about that one <laughs> bit. <laughs> and it's not going to be like really awkwardly warm. Like I right. remember a few Christmases ago, it was close You're to in 80. You shorts and yeah. That's just a little weird, but yeah, we can at least quote you 60s. All right, good, sold. Okay, thanks, Gannon. <laughs> <laughs> Job well done. <laughs>